Have you ever wondered what's in a cleaning lady cleaning bag? Well, you're about to learn. Let's go. Well, first of all, I want to tell you about cleaners. Well, our main goal is to get in the house, clean fast, and get it done. So we use as little products as we can, and that is going to be helpful to you because you use less product, and it helps you do it faster too. Plus, we want to carry as little pot as little as possible we have to carry so much stuff around in the house and the more we have to carry the more time it costs so even though i'm a housekeeper these tips and tricks are going to help you save time and save money on product the very best i mean i get cheap but sometimes it's better to get the very best so first of all i'm going to start off by telling you a good caddy. For me, I'm a cleaning lady. This is a good caddy. It stores all kinds of things. You can take it on your shoulder like this. It has everything where you can reach your product and go spray it and put it back. As well as everything is right here that you need to use and it's right here in one spot. So as a homeowner, you don't necessarily need this caddy, but just have a caddy where everything's in one spot. That's very helpful that you don't have to go around and looking for things in different places. Let me start off by saying, you should not do any cleaning without um, gloves, okay? So I have tons of gloves and I like this particular set because they're color coded. And not only they're not color coded, so I use like one in the bathroom and one in the kitchen so you don't spread germs. But one of the reasons why I love these particular gloves is because I'm in gloves a lot. My hands get sweaty and all gooky in there. This is a particular glove has a thing called flocking. Flocking has this soft inner lining. It's like a soft fabric so that when your hands are in there, it is uh, not plasticky and sweaty. It's nice and soft and you don't have to worry about the sweat or the powder. So this is a bomb as well as uh, it goes up high to protect yourself and water doesn't get down in there as well as they're resistant to chemicals. So definitely some good gloves. These are my favorite. There's a link of the, to these in my Amazon store or just send me a message and I'll tell you which ones to get because they're kind of hard to find. They come in a three pack, three different colors like purple, blue, yellow, or pink, you know. But, so you get three different colors, which are great. Like some for dishes, some for the bathroom, some for, you know, something else in your house. I definitely like to separate my gloves. So that's priority number one. Okay, so the biggest, most often used chemical is this cell suds right here. It's a natural biodegradable. It does not have a scent at all, which a lot of people appreciate. Now, if you like a heavy scent, I'm going to show you something that's going to help it. But this is for people that are sensitive or you want to keep things simplified. This will clean everything from your kitchen, to your bathrooms, to your tub, to your floors, to all purpose. This literally cleans everything. And all you need in a bottle is like two drops. That's it. All you need to clean your floor is two drops. Look, it's sal suds. That means it makes a lot of suds. So uh, one of these bottles will do about 20 of these plus some floor cleaning. So it's extremely economical. It's less to have in your pantry. It's less to carry around. And this one product will clean about 80% of your home. And if you like a smell good, which a lot of people do, um, also it's safe for pets and children. So that's a bonus. And uh, as a housekeeper, you need to know that you generally, when you're in the bathroom cleaning or anything, it's smaller confined. So you're spraying those chemicals in there and you're breathing them. So it's an always a good idea to try something like this. Now, if you really want it to smell good, no problem. There are lots of essential oils that you can just drop some essential oils. I, I don't actually have one in this bag because I just brought this up for the movie, but I have several of these bags and I keep a little bottle of essential oil. So you just pour like a tablespoon in a spray bottle of this 
and then you pour your amount desired of essential oil and fill it up with water boom you're good to go it's a natural excellent cleaner and you get to use your choice of fragrance i like to switch them up sometimes i use lavender sometimes i use fresh scent sometimes i use tea tree oil whatever fits the mood or the season so speaking of that when it comes to putting this into a bottle i like to use these continuous spray bottles because when you spray down okay it, it's, it's a lot of squirting okay so this continuously spray which makes it easier on your hand and makes it go across easier however i also do like uh these glass bottles yes i decorate mine myself but these glass bottles are awesome as well if you like this type of bottle okay so that is 70 percent it, it cleans bathrooms kitchens floors all kind of stuff walls baseboards but another big thing that we have is windows. I use rubbing alcohol for windows. If you haven't tried rubbing alcohol for windows, you're missing out. This does an awesome, awesome job. So a lot of people ask me, Cindy, how do you get the spray? Well, you just take, uh, these sprayers right here are universal. So take a sprayer off any old bottle like this and then you just stick it inside an alcohol bottle like this they're very universal it works that way it's plain and simple see now that's on that and now i can use this one for this one now sometimes if the hose in the middle is a little long just trim it up it's no big deal okay so this is excellent for glass mirrors windows anything like that Plus, here's another thing, in your bathroom where your faucets are, your doorknobs, your light switches, rubbing alcohol disinfects in 10 seconds. That's right, faster than Lysol and all that stuff, which normally you need to dilute, so that takes even longer. This you just use straight up rubbing alcohol and you will have a disinfectant for your handles, your toilet flushes, your doorknobs, your light switches, everything like this. Plus it cleans your windows. So between this and this, now we've got 90% of your house needs right there. Well, the only extra problem is hard water. Hard water is difficult and that could build up in your kitchen. It could also build up in your bathrooms. So I use several different products. It depends on the home that I go to and I usually know the home before I get in there and that's what I put inside my caddy. Oh, I wanna go back. This is also great for granite countertops and quartz countertops. It's gonna shine it really, really good. And you can also use the south suds on your um, stone countertops, works well. Okay in the bathroom the only thing left is the hard water soap scum on the bathroom there's several ways you can clean this one is your good old-fashioned bar keepers bar keepers is safe for tile porcelain fiberglass it does an excellent excellent job on hard water stains and i also use um like zero 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 stop fine steel wool if 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 this doesn't get it then go in with zero 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 fine steel wool again i don't oh and i have some little steel wool right here steel wool uh if you take this and some of your steel wool and you clean your shower doors your shower walls with that and that works totally excellent okay i'm going to come back to this because this is going to the next item but I also like to use this, okay? I just started using this. It's for lime scale. This does a really good job and it smells good. This, to be honest, doesn't smell that good, but here's a little housekeeping tip. You know that essential oil that you put in your SO, um, your Suds House? Put a drop in here. It makes this smell really good. I mean, clean's one thing, but it has to smell good, right? That's the way I see it. So this right here takes care of um, lime scale. Lime scale. Lime scale and hard water are very similar. But one thing I like about this, it smells really good. So this works really, really good too. 
and it works good. So this is another cleanser, the CIF. This smells fantastic. So it, I'm not gonna say, I think if you have hard water build up really bad, use this. But this is for just a light job, um, you know, something like you would use um, soft scrub or something from. This is not soft scrub. This is a cream. So it's not gritty or anything, it's a cream. You can clean your sinks with this, you can clean your stoves with this, you can clean your tubs with this, all kind of things with this. I highly recommend that this product is awesome to have. Okay, now we're getting to the specialty products, which we are. So sometimes I use bleach. I try not to use this, but you know, sometimes you're gonna need it. I really try not to. So there's that, okay? So what I use for furniture is two things. A damp duster. If you haven't used a damp duster, it's a good time to try. They're awesome. They're smooshy, they're damp, and these grooves, when you dust, it picks it up and it sticks in the groove. And then when you're done, you just rinse it off and go dust again. So this is always something good to have in your pocket. But otherwise, for real wood, I use liquid gold, and I know there's lots of fine uh, furniture polish, but this one to me is good because it's greasy, but I put it on a cloth and I mix it with water, and then that way um, it goes a lot further and it's not really greasy when you mix. Spray it on your cloth first. Never spray furniture polish on your um, furniture. Spray it on a cloth. Excuse me, they're um, sawing a tree down outside at the same time. But spray it on a cloth, add some water, and this will go a long way. As well as it's almond scented and there's no waxy built up when you use this. So one can is gonna last a really long time. Okay, I use this grease lightning a lot for greasy stoves, anything hard to get off. It even works really good on soap scum. You just wipe it right off. It is an excellent cleaner and very economical. I think it's only like four bucks. So I use this a lot. It's a degreaser and it's fantastic. Another thing I use for stainless steel is Zep to shine my stainless steel. First you go over with a wet cloth and the south suds and uh, wipe it clean for all the drips. And then you go back with the Zep stainless steel. Another brand that is equivalent to this is the Spray Away. Spray Away, it's, it's just hands down the best stainless steel cleaner. Uh, all the other ones I've tried, I wouldn't say all, but most of the other ones I've tried, it's more work than it's worth. Like, no, I want to use whatever I can to get it done as fast as possible. And this is it, okay? As, as well as the stainless steel spray away. Okay, going back to last but not least, almost last, uh, is I use this. Now I know there's a lot of stone products out on the market, okay? But this, uh, after you clean your countertop with the rubbing alcohol or south suds, this will actually uh, your stone has little fine holes in it, okay? And it absorbs stuff. So this kind of fills in the hole, it protects your stone, and it makes it real shiny. If your stone is feeling gritty and dull, definitely try this. It's like the finishing touch as a professional house cleaner. When they come in, it's like so shiny. This is how, right here. This is the bomb, right there. Okay, I just wanna show you a couple more things that I use to help it easier when you do showers and tubs you have this scrub mommy you know this is very scrubbable and then on the other side is the sponge this is a very handy tool and also and this is going to be crazy but this is called an exfoliating cloth you know that you would do your skin with well i use this as a cloth like to clean with sinks and tubs because along with the product it kind of scratches that off without scratching your stuff and then it's, it's kind of done. So I really like an exfoliating cloth and that's a special house cleaning tip. Shh, don't tell nobody. And you have to also have your choice of scrub brushes. I just get these at the dollar store. I have them designated for bathrooms and kitchens and labeled so you don't cross contaminate. Another thing that I love, a special tip 
are these things right here. You can get them on Amazon. I have them in my store. But I love the Swiffer dusters. They're awesome. But I don't like to keep buying the dusters and throwing them away. So I just use these and I um, wash them. You just put them on your Swiffer duster like this and then you wash them. These are excellent, awesome. If you have any questions, let me know. Okay, there are a few cleaning cloths. I'm gonna talk about cleaning cloths. Now I'll do, if you let me know that you like this, I'll do a part on tools, like mops and brooms and dusters and stuff. But right now, this is just cleaning stuff, what's in my caddy. But these are a few of my favorite uh, cleaning cloths, okay? I have these um, glass cleaning cloths. Literally, you can only use water, you can you just use water with them, okay? The texture is amazing. You can just use water, okay? Or um, you can use the rubbing alcohol like I do. I love these, they're lint free. I like them because you can throw them in the washer with your other cloths. And I am one that uses ribbed bar towels. These are ribbed bar towels. I like the ribs, it's more uh, it wipes more off and absorbs more. They're very absorbent and you can wash them normally. Now, I'm not a huge fan of microfiber cloths um, just because you have to wash them specially and I feel like things get stuck in them, but they are absorbent and a lot of people like them. So if I do use them, I only use the Buff brand. Um, a lot of the cheaper ones aren't even worth it, but this is what I use. To me, they, they, you know, they're okay. But this is what I would use if you just love a microfiber cloth. But otherwise, I use cotton ribbed bar cloths and these glass cleaning cloths. And then I use a soft cloth for dusting. Dusting, it's like a, just a cotton really, really soft cloth that's specifically for dusting. At least one thing is your toilet bowl. I use this. It works on hard water stains and it's perfectly fine for porcelain. So this works just fine. And then for the outside of the commode, I spray alcohol, which disinfects all the outside and this cleans the inside of the bowl. Perfect solution. Have any questions, leave it in the comment. Hit the subscribe and get more uh, of my videos. And if you want to know about tools, drop in there and let me know. If you have any questions, I'm here to help you. Thanks for watching. Bye.